With an Allison Automatic, you don't need to know the right moment to upshift or downshift during changing road and traffic conditions. The Allison does it for you. However, knowledge of the shift selector positions and the ranges available will help make vehicle control even easier. This interactive helps you learn how to get the most out of your Allison Automatic equipped vehicle. The push button shift selector features reverse, neutral and drive buttons, up and down arrow buttons, a mode button, and a dual digit digital display window that identifies highest available gear range and current range attained, diagnostic codes, oil levels, and prognostics. When you start the engine on your vehicle, the transmission's computer automatically selects neutral, and the digital display window shows NN for neutral. Select a gear, reverse or drive, by pushing the R or D button. The first number displayed is the highest forward range available, and the second number is the current range attained. The transmission will engage the lowest available forward gear. As you continue to drive, the transmission automatically selects gears based on engine RPM, throttle position, vehicle load, and road speed. Let's look at how to access some of the unique features available with the Allison Automatic Shift Selector. Allison Automatic Transmissions automatically make gear selection based on engine speed and load. However, you can manually control the upshifts and downshifts when it's necessary for safe driving in traffic or in certain road conditions. By pushing the up or down arrow keys on the keypad, you can upshift or downshift one gear at a time. The transmission will not allow you to select a range that will overspeed the engine. This helps avoid damage to the drivetrain. To downshift, gently release the pressure on the throttle and then press the down arrow on the keypad. This allows the engine to help slow down the vehicle one gear at a time. This is most useful if you are traveling down a steep grade or on slippery road conditions such as ice, snow or rain. Each time you push the down arrow, you will drop down one gear. Selecting a lower range often prevents cycling between ranges on a series of short up and down hills. To upshift, increase pressure on the throttle and push the up arrow key once for each upshift to a higher gear. This will help you attain your cruising speed. You can also push the D button. The transmission will automatically upshift into the highest attainable range based on engine speed and load. Allison Automatics offer primary and secondary shift schedules to enhance performance or fuel economy. The vehicle always defaults to the primary mode. If your vehicle operates in the performance mode as the primary shift schedule, your secondary shift schedule will be economy mode and vice versa. Your secondary shift schedule will be identified on your shift selector. In the economy mode, the transmission shifts gears at lower engine speed to allow the engine to operate in a more fuel-efficient range. You can switch to either the performance or the economy secondary shift schedule by pushing the mode button. In the performance mode, the transmission upshifts at higher engine speed. This gives you quick acceleration so you can effectively merge into traffic or onto a freeway. The performance mode provides the needed power for a longer period of time in each range. On utility, fire emergency, refuse and other specialized trucks, the mode button may be used to activate PTO functions, disallow forward reverse range when the PTO is in operation, or to operate hydraulics. These functions are offered in special vocational programming packages tailored to truck usage. Your Allison Automatic is equipped with an oil level sensor, so you can identify the level of fluid in your transmission from the comfort of the driver's seat. 
different levels are identified in the digital display window on the shift selector. To enter the oil level display function, put the transmission in neutral, apply the parking brake, and simultaneously press the up and down arrow buttons one time. The fluid level reading may be delayed until the following conditions are met. The fluid temperature is between 60 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and 104 degrees Celsius, 220 degrees Fahrenheit. The transmission is in neutral. The vehicle has been stationary for approximately two minutes to allow fluid to settle. The engine is at idle, below 1000 RPM, not a fast idle. The oil level data is displayed in the range window. OL followed by OK means the fluid level is correct. OL followed by LO then 01 means the fluid level is one quart low. OL followed by H1 then 01 means the fluid level is one quart above the full transmission level. Additional fault codes may be encountered please refer to the Allison Shift Selector Operation and Code Manual for a complete listing of these codes. Your Allison Automatic is equipped with a Transmission Control Module, TCM, that monitors transmission operation. When a problem is detected, the TCM registers a diagnostic code and alerts you that a problem exists. To enter the diagnostic function, bring the vehicle to a complete stop, apply the parking brake, and then simultaneously press the up and down arrows twice. The display will show two dashes if the diagnostic cycle was performed and no problems were found. If codes are present, the grouping of code positions will display in the gear range window. The codeless position is the first item displayed, followed by the main diagnostic trouble code, and then the subcodes. Each item is displayed for about one second. The display cycles continuously until the next codeless position is accessed by pressing the mode button. Up to five codes can be stored. If a listed code is active, the LED indicator next to the mode button will be illuminated. Consult your shift selector operation and code manual to identify the codes display. To clear both inactive and active codes, push and hold the mode button for approximately 10 seconds. The LED indicator flashes when the code clears. In the event of transmission failure, the transmission will fail to a given range, so you will be able to continue to drive the vehicle to safety. Allison transmission models released after July 2008 may be equipped with prognostic features. Prognostic features on 3000 and 4000 series models can be accessed through the shift selector. Calibrated to the particular operating requirements of the vehicle, these prognostics monitor various operating parameters and alert you by a wrench icon on the shift selector when specific maintenance is required. Prognostic features take the guesswork out of scheduling routine vehicle maintenance. Based on the vehicle's duty cycle, the oil life monitor determines and alerts when a fluid change is required. It helps you get maximum oil life while providing maximum protection for the transmission. If the drive range has been selected and a fluid change is required, the wrench icon illuminates in the display window and remains illuminated for two minutes. To check the fluid life status, Simultaneously press the up and down arrow buttons two times. And O and M will appear in the display window, followed by a number from 99 to 0, 
which represents the percentage of oil life remaining before a fluid change is required. To reset the oil life monitor, press and hold the mode button for approximately 10 seconds while in the oil life monitor mode. The number 99 will be displayed, verifying that the 